level instance properties. Let's select a particular level. I'll pick on say level two. And now down here my instance, this one time ins instance of this particular level, I am showing my elevation, which is at 10 feet. I can change it here. My instant properties, I can change it over here. And both will update. I can tell it what story is above. And uh, so I can tell it what story I want it to go to next. Or its default mode is if another story is generated, it'll go to there. Dimensions is computational. How we calculate the computational um, uh, height of a level. And let's go and take a look here. Um, we have computational height, and let's just take a look. Depending on how our walls are, if like they're on an angle, uh, the computation is going to be different than if they're straight up. So uh, Revit can do a much more accurate computational height and volume than if, it, if the walls are not straight up and down. Uh, we also have the name of the level, and this is where you'd say second, uh, second floor or third floor, stuff like that. And also we can check whether this level is structural or not. So if we're going to come calculate the structural uh, loads on this level, we would check this. So this would typically work for our foundation walls and things like that. And if it was a wall that was holding the building up, a level that was holding the building up, not a wall, but a, a level. Uh, is this a building story? So each story is one level of the building, you know, first floor, second floor, third floor. If we uncheck it, we can uncheck it for like a parapet, or we can uncheck it for a windowsill, or we can have it for the, you know, the top of the doors and the windows uh, line. So we generally put everything to those lines then. So if we don't want it to be non-storied, we can uncheck it. Uh, the extents for the scope box. Um, the extents is the extents in which we will show the level and we'll control the visibility of that level. And uh, we can go down here and we control the visibility of these using what's called scope boxes. And then these scope boxes then we can actually uh, say no we don't want to see certain things. We can hide certain things so that we don't want to see things uh, interfering with each other when we're looking at the scope of our levels. So a little higher level of controlling our visibility of our levels.